Hello, I'm Dr. Gloria Horsley, president of the Open to Hope Foundation. I'm interviewing today Peter Willock. He's from Miami, and he's at the Children's Bereavement Center there. And we're going to be talking a little bit about developmental issues. We really find at the Children's Bereavement Center, more than anything, is that we have to acknowledge that children grieve throughout their lifetime, that it's certainly not closed in. And at different developmental stages, whether they're elementary school, middle school, high school, or young adults, um, their loss experience might shift and it might change, and the amount of resources and support that they need is going to shift with that as well. Well, I think it's important to recognize that children grieve differently. Um, there's no right or wrong way to do it, that some people are talkers and some people are listeners. Some kids will cry and open up and share their emotions, and others will do it better with expressive arts and reading and drawing and things like that. Or maybe playing basketball. It's quite all right to express yourself physically as well. That and one of the things that uh, we found is that kids oftentimes have certain friends that they might talk to, whereas they're not talking to their family, and their family thinks, oh, they're not grieving, and they've got some friends. That's exactly right. And actually, with the Children's Bereavement Center in Miami and with other programs throughout the United States that are working with children, what we really do recognize is that being around peers and being around their friends and classmates is the most natural and most comfortable place for them to be, and they'll share with each other if they get the opportunity. And you know, sometimes it's scary for kids to see their parents cry and be in those kinds of situations. That's true, and not only that, but parents will often withhold their own emotions because they don't want to seem fragile and they don't want their kids to get scared and feel that they can't handle things. But they make the mistake often of not giving them the example and not being a role model for them in that expression. They shouldn't fall apart. They should find resources and support for themselves, but certainly crying in front of a child is a good example. Have you found anything with the new social media that's been different? Well, I mean, we're... we're obviously having to stay aware of how kids are communicating with each other. There's a lot of research being done and a lot of opportunity out there for people to stay connected even after a death to their loved ones through these forums and through pages and through the sharing of information and pictures. And we really do need to embrace it on some level, not fear it. Um, it's just another opportunity really for kids to stay connected to each other find support that they need, and memorialize the people that they've lost. Thank you so much for being on our show today. It's been my pleasure. Thank you so much. I'm Dr. Gloria Horsley, president of the Open to Hope Foundation. Thanks for listening to this YouTube.